Hi guys, I'm Matt from Switch Physio here in Concord. So this month we're looking at running injuries. We want to try and give you some exercises which you can break down your running technique so that you can get stronger and fitter and running a lot better down the track. Our exercises are going to be broken into two different exercises. We're going to give you two here. So number one is going to be a step down, which is looking through the alignment of your hip and your knee. The second one is going to be having a look at your foot. We're looking at a calf raise, making sure that you can toe off effectively at the end of your stride. So we'll break those down now. All right, so the first exercise is gonna be a step down. We're gonna use a step here. So if you've got some steps at your house, that would be perfect. I'm gonna use a yoga block just because it's easier for me to show here. So the exercise looks like this. You're gonna stand on the step with one of your feet. You're gonna make sure that you're stable on that leg. And then from there, you're gonna step downwards to the step below with your opposite foot. And that foot is just going to touch the step below. You don't want to put weight down, you just want to touch that step, okay? The things we're looking for here, and I'm going to show you straight on so you can see it, is alignment. So we're going to try and make sure that your hip, your knee, your ankle, and your foot are tracking in one straight line as you step down to make sure that everything is able to jump off as you toe off when you run because injuries usually happen with running, especially in the knee and the foot, when as you land from that stride, the knee collapses in. So we're gonna retrain that position to make sure that everything lands in the right alignment. So that's the exercise there. The second exercise we're gonna focus on is the calf raise. The calf raise is looking at making sure that you can toe off effectively when you run like that. So I'm gonna do it to the side first so you can see what my foot's doing. The focus here is making sure that you've got even pressure through the base of your first toe, the ball of your first toe, and the ball of your fifth toe, okay? You want even pressure through both of those points as you go up, and then slowly lowering down. We're gonna count for the count of three on the way down, one, two, three, okay? So I like to set this up on the wall, putting both fingers on the wall here, making sure that as you go up, you're nice and controlled, even pressure through your first and your fifth toe, three seconds down, one, two, three, just like this, one, two, three. So that's gonna make sure that when you run and when you push off when you run, you're not flicking your foot in or out, you're making sure that you toe off effectively to give yourself the, eat the right amount of pressure to get that running effective. Both of these exercises are gonna to come together really well to summarize how we should be running because like James talked about last week, we wanna have an effective running technique to prevent injuries and to try and get those times up uh, on Strava or wherever you track the running. So this has been Matt from Switch. Um, if you do have any specific questions, um, I'm here in Concord. Um, so book online or send me a message directly on Instagram. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the clinic soon.